Sasha Banks and Willow Nightingale just put on the best women's wrestling match I've seen in years. What's good, y'all? Flash Speaks back for another video. Um, I actually took my time out, man, to go over and uh, watch something that's going on at uh, AEW. You know, and that, that really takes my time out of what I do. Um, like I said, I have nothing, no issue with the ownership there. I'm not like some loyal WWE guy. It's just... For the most part, um, they, they delivered a bunch of cheesy stuff and all of that, in my opinion. But, you know, um, I had to check this out, man. Uh, why? Because <laughs> it's that girl, man. That girl Sasha was over there doing what she does. Um, I guess they were going to bring her up incrementally over there. They gave her Jay Cargill's old belt, the TBS title, as opposed to, like, the real one. I think Tony Storm has that. I guess that makes sense because what you want to do is build a feud between them slowly. And um, eventually, they got to give Sasha that and put Tony Storm really where she is, which is really that mid card. Right? Like, Tony Storm is good over in AEW. You put her in WWE, she mid card. I remember her. I remember you, Tony. You know, you thick, you know, in the hips and all of that. You know, a little flat in the back. But, you know, she found herself. Over there doing her uh, Marilyn Monroe era, uh, what, what's that, Mommy Dearest, uh, Joan Crawford thingy she got going on. <laughs> it's cute, <laughs> you know what I mean? But right now they got they got the execution of the bank statement over there, which is the illest name of a finishing move. The bank statement and your name Banks. Come on, man. Tosca Reeves about to take that thing over there. Yeah. Why? She is the illest female wrestler. She is. You talking about execution in the ring, ex excellence of execution, constantly moving, know exactly what to do, whatever the situation is, got a counter for every damn thing you doing. Yeah, that's that's Banks. Um, unfortunately, WWE never, I mean, they pushed her, but they, could, they never maximized what they could have got out of her. Right, you got jokers out here talking about, um, <laughs> not get on the mic, you know, she sucks on the mic. No, no, she doesn't suck on the mic. You want your speaker to be articulate, understand what, they, what they've what they said. You want them to be arrogant, definitely that. You want them to be cocksure what they're talking about and who they are, she's definitely that. Now, cracking jokes, which some people think makes you great on the mic, cracking jokes. Nah, she's not a comedian. She's not The Rock, not John Cena, you know, not CM Punk, and, and all of them. Really, the, those are the best ones, like, for real, for real. Um, they're, they're, the, they're the best, you know, on the mic. So, I get that, right? But, like I said... The other elements are there when it comes to speech and when it comes to the mic. Now, the reality is, like, it's tough for her because of her size. And you look at her, it's nothing like, it's not a, it's not like you're looking at Jay Cargill or something like that. So people, all of that factors into the mic thing. It does. It's the whole complete image factors into it. Um, typically with women, they either got to act really crazy uh, like uh, um, Liv Morgan right now is acting crazy. She's good on the mic. Be like Becky Lynch with just her. She has a way of touching a number of people in the audience. Some people. You know the idea of the Irish immigrant that's hardworking, that, nothing, that will stop at nothing, is has the mentality of a Viking. You know, like that appeals to some people. It appeals to a lot of people, right? I get it. For Sasha Banks, it's tougher. Right, you African American. And I'm not saying any one of you racist, so don't get your titties in a bunch. Okay? But but what is it? But an African American who's not particularly big, who uh, really when she speaks, she doesn't really speak like a, a, like you would think a typical black girl talks. Like Bianca Belair talks like a real down south black girl. <laughs> she just does. It's like when she talks, fits who she is, boom, gotcha, boo gam. Bam, right? Um, others. Jazz back and they were just mean, right? 
but that fit her. She's big, you know, strong looking, all of that. Um, Jade, Jade may have taken acting classes somewhere. Because, like, a lot of the inflections on words and the way she speaks and all that. It seems almost like a trained, um, you know, actor or something. Uh, but she, she's decent on the mic, right? And Jade, you're looking at her. So that that adds to what she's saying. Uh, same with Rhea. Rhea Ripley, though I consider her good on the mic, she is aided by the way she looks. You know, big, gothic looking, look like she will wreck some wreck a whole room of, of chicks, right? Might try to fight the men, right? Please don't ever fight men. I hate that shit. Women and men fight each other. I I hate it. But she looks like a wrecker. But she's a little repetitive in her speech, right? How many times are you going to say mommy is always on top? How many times are you going to say I'm real bloody Ripley, right? <laughs> yeah, every time you got the mic is one of those two. <laughs> it's perfect and it executes well in situations where it's needed. But sometimes it gets a little repetitive, but she's good. She's good. I ain't got nothing to say about, you know. Right now, Storm is good because she's playing this crazy character, Right? But anyway, that match with Willow Nightingale was excellent. Excellent. No no flaws in it. And that's where Banks is really going to captivate, right? Because right now, people are criticizing her start at AEW. That match she had with Nightingale is better than any match WWE women's had. Man. In a long time. I would say it was even better than Ripley Lynch WrestleMania. Yeah, I go that far. I go that far. Yeah, that joint that joint was action packed and full of it. Yeah, that joint was crazy. She came through there and she did that thing in the ring. That's what's really gonna do it for her over there. People were criticizing her before they ever saw her wrestle over there. And she let y'all know who the fuck she is again. The illest. You know what I mean? Especially when it comes to that in that ring. So good job. And um AEW give me a bit of a reason to tune in. Now I do gotta check out this dude Strickland, uh, who's the champion. I you know, I don't I don't know much about him, but I've been hearing online, you know, different controversies and so on. Uh, something about Jim Cornette said. I don't know all the details, but uh I'm I'm gonna start looking at the AEW a little bit. Um see what's happening over there. Especially since you got the illness over there, Sasha, Bizanks. Still waiting for you to get back to WWE, honestly, to, to really do your thing. But um, I'm, I'm interested in seeing how she would do with this version of the women's um, locker room now. But I guess they got to pair, man. The way you get your bread. You know what I'm saying? So I get with y'all, man. Peace out.